Uh, could you introduce yourself, uh, who you are, where you're from, and how long you've been involved in real estate? Okay, my name is Tom Van Erp. I'm from the greater Denver area. Uh, I got first got my real estate license in 1974 after a 15-year career with a consumer finance company as a mid-level executive. Awesome. How is exchanging different and why is it important? Well, uh, technically I'm not really an exchanger. I really uh, work a lot with creative real estate people and uh, as a result of transactions being made, I have opportunities to make loans. I'm a private money lender out of my pension plan. If you were ta addressing other private money lenders, now everyone has a different flavor of what they like to do, but why would you suggest that lenders come and, and, and come to these exchanger meetings? I'm or... not suggesting that at all. I hope nobody shows up <laughs> and leave more room for me. Um, actually, uh, I've built a lot of personal relationships with people in our uh, organization. Also, when I got started in private money lending 30 years ago, I financed a substantial uh, portion of my loan business with the funds of members of this group. So it has served me both as a source of capital and of a source of customers. So do you feel like there's a little, it's maybe not quite as heavy on the competition, more camaraderie? I don't have any competition. I don't feel that way at all. Okay. Why do you like um, owner carry notes? Well, if I don't like owning real estate, it starts there. And I, a long time ago, I used to own a lot of rentals. And while I think that rentals on a long-term basis is a good way to acquire capital, I don't like it. I don't like the management. I don't like anything about it. Um, with making private money real estate loans and buying on a carry paper, I get to do a deal all the time. I am kind of a deal junkie and I uh, make a, a great return. In fact, the returns, if you ignore um, appreciation of real estate, are far superior. So if um, someone was trying to invest or was an investor trying to expand their portfolio or wanted to buy, you know, a, a loan, you know, notes with loans on them or that bear interest and stuff like that. <clears throat> Is this a good place to do that? Not necessarily. Okay. Can you expand or expound on that? Well, I mean, most people who invest in owner carry notes, if you use that particular uh, branch, you might call, of, of what I do, uh, they sit in a little room by themselves and have a direct mail uh, program or they have advertise, they advertise in some manner and they don't need this group at all. Uh, they can deal directly with sellers of owner carry paper. So why don't you do that? You know, I can't sit alone in a room. It's a personal issue. I like to meet people and I like to create friends and create transactions as a result. Does it feel better when you're lending money to someone you know, who you know is gonna do good stuff? Uh, most of the people, yeah, that is a fact also, that's a factor. Uh, I finance a lot of flippers in Denver, people who buy older homes, restore them and fix them up and then resell them. Those are my steady customers. In fact, that is my bread and butter business, financing flippers. That also is boring to me because I need variety. So that's why I come to these meetings to do something different. Do you think that if there's a broker or even an investor interested in coming to these, that there's, that, that do you think people are pretty welcoming? You're talking about the exchange meetings? Yeah, the exchange meetings. Yeah, but they need to first have an understanding of what it is that we do. This is not for everyone. This is, in fact, I would say 90% of brokers would not fit in at all. Um, most brokers, commercial or residential, they focus on the property, not the people associated with the property and try to create some sort of a transaction around their needs. Um, this is just somewhat different and uh, to 
some degree, you can compare our marketing sessions as real estate flea markets. It's, it, it's a, it, there's a complete variety of every kinds of real estate and certainly not everyone is qualified or able or willing to learn anything, everything about every kinds of real estate. So this is really, it, it's a mishmash. It's, 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 well, I enjoy it. It's fun. <laughs> well, and you're, it's a lot of people that compliment each other like you. Absolutely. You know, you, but most of the people in that room aren't hard money lenders, I'm guessing. Right, I have a function, I serve a function in that group. There are very few people actually that do what I do full time. Most of the people who say they're money lenders in the group who want to buy, own, and carry paper do, do that on the side, as in it? I only spend, I spend all my time either making loans or purchasing and purchasing owner carry paper. That's all I do. Could you give me like a one sentence or two, one paragraph definition of what an owner carry is? Oh sure, where a person owns a piece of real estate and instead of the buyer getting a loan from a bank or another financial institution, the seller plays banker and carries the mortgage him or herself. Um, and then sometimes after they've done that, for whatever reason, they want the cash. So they come to someone like me and say, would you buy this mortgage? And I say, well, maybe, tell me more. All right. Um, do you think that with the way that these people approach real estate that it's an art form? Yeah, very much so. Uh, and an addiction, I might say. Okay. Um, and uh, do you feel appreciated? Do I feel appreciated? In the group? <laughs> I don't need appreciation, but it's, uh, of course, it's, it's, it's nice to, I'd, let's put it this way, I serve a function in the group. I provide liquidity, although right now there is a lot of liquidity in the market, but it isn't always been like that, and it probably won't always be that way in the future. So at the moment, to some degree, cash is trash, but uh, in many other times, cash is a very valuable commodity, and sometimes that's what's needed to make a deal happen. Have you benefited a lot from these groups, from exchange Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I had some financial difficulties 35 years ago when I was already a member of this group. I've been a member of the exchangers in Denver since 1978, so a long time, all through good times and through bad times. Um, personally, I prefer bad times. It's better for my business uh, in that we tend to solve or try to solve problems for people and more problems arise of course during bad times than good times do you feel like um that room is as much as their real estate brokers or exchangers that they're problem solvers well they should be all right um and then my last question do you like your job well, i don't really have a job it is a it is a well i'm retired technically I'm 83 years old and I've been doing this all the time. And this is a combination hobby and retirement. I invest my all my retirement funds. I have a self-defined benefit pension plan. I, re, I invest all that money in owner carry paper and in mortgages. And if I wasn't doing this, I don't know what I would do with myself. So it's, it's fun, entertainment, and, makes money.